Imagine, if you will, a world without friction. A world where cars and trucks would move easily, but brakes would be useless. Firefighters use friction to control how fast they fall. It's fun! А жираф наблюдает. Это маленький вылет. А жираф так без гриба идет. Example of a low voltage battery being used to create some light. Connecting a light bulb to this battery, we have created a circuit, a path for electrons to travel on. Our light bulb does two things. It introduces some resistance into the circuit, reducing the flow of electrons so that the copper wires won't get hot, and it converts electrical energy into light energy. Our circuit also demonstrates a switch, a device for turning the electricity off and on. The switch does this by creating an opening in the circuit. This is an actual circuit similar to the one in the animation. The wires I am using have metal alligator clips connected to their ends, making it easy to connect. The metal in these wires is covered in plastic. Plastic is an electrical insulator. The current from our low voltage battery will not flow through the plastic, but easily travels in the copper wire under the plastic. Connecting and disconnecting the wire creates a simple switch, turning the light off and on. A wall switch does the same thing. The plastic lever and cover plate protect you from the high voltage used in this circuit. It is possible to construct circuits with two or more bulbs. Here is one example. The two bulbs in this circuit are connected in parallel. If we follow two electrons traveling through this circuit, we see there are two possible paths. One electron leaves the negative terminal of the battery and travels through the upper bulb, the other through the lower bulb. They both end at the positive terminal of the battery. Parallel circuits always provide more than one path for the electricity to travel on. If you are in a room with a row of ceiling lights, these lights will be connected in parallel. One advantage of connecting lights in parallel is that if one light is removed or fails, the other lights will not be affected. Removing one light from this circuit does not affect the other light. It remains connected to the battery. 
This is a parallel circuit. Notice when I disconnect one bulb, the other one stays on. It is possible to build parallel circuits with many branches. This circuit also has two bulbs, but notice there is only one path. This is a series circuit. All electrons travel from minus to plus following the same path. If one of these lights is removed or fails, the circuit is broken and the other light will go out. Lighting systems are rarely wired in series. This is a series circuit. Notice when I disconnect one bulb, the other one goes out. Switches are wired in series with the loads they control. In this example, our lights are the loads and this circuit contains a series and parallel component. The switch is in series with the parallel branches. This is how one switch controls many lights in a room. Series and